Calvin Phillips won the championship with Leeds and brought them back to the Premier League after 16 years. He's won the trust of Marcelo Bielsa, Leeds United, Gareth Southgate and the Three Lions. But to be where he is today, Phillips has gone through a lot of hardships and struggles. Our team at Goal90 dug deep and got these facts about Calvin that will probably blow your mind. But before we get started, do smash that subscribe button if you already aren't a part of our family. Now, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. At number one, he has had a rough childhood. Phillips was born on the 5th of December 1995 to his Irish mother, Lindsay, and Jamaican father, Mark, in Leeds, England. The footballer was born a triplet but lost one of his sisters early on. He barely got any time to spend with his dad as his dad got caught up in some wrongdoing and then went to prison early on. He was raised with a single mum. Thinking back about his early life, the midfielder often praises his mum for her courage in raising him and his siblings single-handedly. We used to live in a three-bedroom house, me and my brother upstairs in bunk beds, my little sister and older sister in the other bedrooms, and my mum used to sleep on the sofa downstairs, Phillips explained. I used to get free school meals. I'd see kids coming in with packed lunches, having sandwiches and chocolate bars. Some kids would laugh at me saying, you're getting free school meals. I'd come home and say, mum, why can't I have a packed lunch? We can't afford it, my mum explained. There have been times where my mum didn't eat at night because she had to feed us. My mum worked two jobs to make enough money to feed us. Phillips also opened up on his relationship with his father, Mark, and how he speaks to him every couple of weeks from jail. He's been in and out of my life since when I was young, he explained. He's been in prison, out of prison. He got into the wrong crowd, drugs, fighting, anything you can name. Phillips' father is based at HM Prison Wilston, which is only a short drive away from the midfielder's home. I drive past him every morning. I've been to see him a few times, but I don't like going in there and seeing him in prison. I'd rather speak over the phone. I speak to him every couple of weeks. Okay, moving on at number two. He joined Leeds United by fluke. As a little boy, Phillips always had his mind fixed on playing football. He found the game so attractive that all he could think of is to set out and play with his little brother. We'd play outside whenever we got the chance, from 10 in the morning until 6 at night when my mum shouted at us for tea. Seeing that Phillips has shown more interest in football than any other thing, his mum enrolled him in a local club, Wortley, in 2003. I was at Wortley Juniors until I was about 12, then left for a season at Fastly Football Club, he said. This one time I'd gone to watch Wortley play in their home tournament just to support my friends, but they didn't have enough players, so I played for them. Luckily, I got scouted by a guy called Sonny Sweeney and went to Leeds City Boys. After that, he came and watched me again and got me on a six-week trial at Leeds. It all went from there. Wow, one good day of football and his life turned around. Phillips was a Leeds United fan since his childhood and his dream came true that day. Hey, wait a second, it seems like you're enjoying this video. Please smash that like button if you like our content. Okay, at number three, he was told to quit football at the age of 14. When he was a kid, his former teachers believed that Calvin should forget about football and should instead concentrate on his education. One day, his mother wrote to his school asking if her son could be excused from class for a football practice. The school's response wasn't so positive. My mum got a letter from the school, he recalled. It said they hoped I realised that not many people make it as a professional footballer. There was me and a friend in the same age group and they were threatening not to let us go. But his mum stood up for him. What, what's your mum say? She said, you've worked this hard to get in this position, we're not going to let anybody take it away from you. And... Moving on, at number four, Calvin rejected multiple clubs and stayed at Leeds United. Leeds United got promoted to the Premier League in 2020. But in 2019, they got knocked out in the playoffs, which meant they would have to play in the championship again the next season. But Calvin Phillips' performances have caught the eyes of many big Premier League teams like Aston Villa and Liverpool. He got offers and salary raises that none of the championship teams could offer him. He was even enticed to take those offers, but his granny talked him out of it. He rejected all the offers that he got from the other teams. Then he signed a five-year deal to show faith in the club and played in the championship. That year, Leeds won the championship and got promoted to the Premier League after 16 years. Okay, moving on at number five, loves helping kids. Calvin had a tough childhood without his dad and wasn't privileged enough as the other kids. So today he knows what kids go through. 
Calvin Phillips visits and helps sick and unprivileged kids as much as he can. He has made many hospital visitations to cheer on many children fighting for their lives. He's grateful for his life today, but doesn't forget his humble beginnings. Life was tough for Calvin from the get-go, but as they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Today, Calvin Phillips plays for the England national team. He was told to quit football. His mum didn't have enough money to send him food to school. He had problems throughout his life, but Calvin stood his ground and found the light at the end of the tunnel. So, for anyone out there who is struggling today, stay strong and keep following your dreams. One day, you'll thank yourself. Well, if you made it to this minute of the video, then please do hit that like and subscribe button. We hope to see you in our next video. Until then, goodbye and take care.